Okay, today we are gonna build a golf club and it is most definitely not a chipper. It's not, it's not. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We are back in the Elite Fit Golf Build Shop and today we are gonna be building a golf club. You may have noticed on YouTube or just in golf in general, there's been a lot of talk about chippers recently, right? New chipper came out, and this happens probably every few years. Somebody tries to release one of these chipper type golf clubs somewhere between a wedge and a putter. And uh, you know, every few years somebody puts one out. This year, it seems like there's a little more buzz than usual about it. But you know, that got me thinking because I think a chipper really, for most amateur golfers, is probably a really good club that most people would benefit from having in their bag, right? Somewhere between a wedge and a putter, easy to hit, around the green, gets the ball rolling quickly, so you've got, you know, your margin of error is, is pretty large. It's just a nice, easy to hit club. You're not trying to hit flop shots with lob wedges and things like that. So, you know, what's the downside? Well, the downside is, it's called the chipper, and for a lot of golfers, I think that right there is a non-starter, either for our own egos or just because we're worried about what our friends are gonna say when you pull a chipper out around the green, we're not willing to put a chipper in the bag, even though I think in a lot of cases, it probably would save strokes. So that gave me an idea. What if we, what if we built a golf club that it's not a chipper, it's not, anyone asks, it's not a chipper. And yes, it may perform similar to a chipper and it may have similar specs and you may use it in a similar way, but it is most certainly, most definitely, it's not. It's not a chipper. It's, well, it's a pitching wedge. If anyone asks, what'd you hit? What'd you hit on that little bump and run shot? Well, that was, that was a pitching wedge. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are going to build a not a chipper golf club. Okay, so let's talk about the component pieces that we're gonna be using here. Now, remember, everything we're doing here is trying to make this wedge more putter-like. So what does that mean? Basically, we wanna get it really heavy. We want it a little more upright in the lie angle. We want it to be stiff and basically just like a putter, only a putter with more loft. So first off, we're gonna have this pitching wedge head. This is actually from Maltby. It's called the KE4 Max, oversized, uh, big cavity back, offset, and one of the main features that it has, which is why I picked it, is it has a interchangeable weight port here. You can unscrew this weight and you can put in a heavier weight, and that's what we're gonna do. Again, we're trying to get as much weight into here as possible. Now, obviously, you don't have to use this particular wedge head. I picked this one because it had that weight port, but you could easily do the same thing with lead tape and add some lead tape to the back of the club head to get more head weight into it. We're also gonna get a tip weight, 10 grams, put that in the shaft and assemble it together, again, trying to make this club more putter-like in its weighting. From there, we go into the shaft, and I had a Project X 6.5 wedge shaft in the shop. This is very heavy, very stiff, and that's perfect again, for trying to make this as putter-like as possible. Doesn't have to be a Project X, doesn't have to be a 6.5, but I think the heavier, the stiffer, is gonna be better in this application. Finally, we've got Golf Pride Tour Velvet mid-size grip. Again, a little bit bigger grip to mimic sort of a putter grip, and a little bit bigger grip, a little bit heavier grip, a little bit more weight, it's what we want. All right, let's get started. First off, this head is brand new, but we're still gonna just run a uh, little bit of a sanding bit around the inside just to help clean it out. And then we'll wipe it down with some acetone. See, just cleaning out all the leftover debris and junk in there. We're also gonna go ahead, prep this shaft, uh, just get a little bit better finish on this so the epoxy has something to bond to. Let's see. 
and a ferrule, something medium length. How about something like that? Oh yeah, we're also going to need 10 gram tip weight. Tip weight. And put it together. Tap it down. With a couple drops of solvent, clean everything up. Okay guys, well, finished putting together the Nada Chipper. It's all set, it looks pretty darn good. And now I am out at the golf course and we're gonna actually try it out, see how it works. So I figured the easiest way to do this, we're gonna do a little competition. I'm just gonna pick out a variety of shots around the green and hit one ball with my sand wedge, my sand wedge that I've had in my bag for you know, at least two seasons. And then we're gonna hit some with the not a chipper and see which one gets closer to the hole. Now, I have not hit a single golf ball. I have not really taken any swings out on the golf course with this chipper. So I am going in completely cold with it. So we are just gonna have to see what happens. I'm, I'm trying to make it as difficult as possible on this not a chipper. So let's see what happens.
Okay, this is telling me a couple things after this testing. First is, I need to work on my chipping because it is shaky at best. But the other thing it's telling me is, this, not a chipper, is pretty ridiculously simple to hit. I have yet to really miss one. The very first ball I hit, I kind of sculled it, trying to get used to the weight. And after that, they've all been very consistent. And as you've seen, the results, it's probably 80, 85%. This one's winning right now. We're gonna hit a few more, but as of right now, this chipper, this thing may, ah, it's not a, it's not a chipper. This club, it may end up in my bag. So there you go. Obviously, different people's results may vary, but for me, I was way, way more consistent with the not a chipper than I was with my 56 degree wedge that I've had in the bag for years now. So I think this club is definitely going to end up in my bag. Now, that being said, you may be asking, well, I'd like to see someone else give this club a try. What do they think of it? So, uh, hey, Gabe, can you help me out with this? Oh, and by the way, you, I want this back. You don't get to, you don't get to keep this.